I, I see a lot of consistency is what I see. I, I see uh, a lot of communication between the guys. Um, it, it makes just watching it makes makes us feel really excited about what we're capable of doing this year, as opposed to in the past when, you know, we've we've probably been a little bit short in that in that in that aspect as far as starting pitching is concerned. But now it's it's pretty exciting. Hello, Aaron Boone said earlier in camp that he thought this pitching staff was, staff probably had the most depth that they've had in a while. How do you describe the depth of the of the staff overall? Well, I, I concur with what what Aaron has said about as far as depth is in you know my twelve years here, uh, probably since two thousand nine, ten, and eleven. This is probably the most depth that we've had um, from starter. To closer in in a long time. I know it's really weird now. You're talking about us losing Brit, um, but I still think depth wise we're still pretty well situated. I do see a hybrid type thing. I mean, we have so many options. Um, you know, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about the you know us adding uh, Justin Wilson and Darren O'Day, two guys who I've been really big fans of from the other side uh, for for five or six years now. So um, I think with that aspect, it's gonna give Booney a lot more options. Um, it's gonna give us more, more chances to give guys rest, especially when we're talking about uh, getting high leverage outs at the end of the game. To see, obviously, you know, these guys trust you so much. Have you seen, what have you seen from Luis so far from Severino, you know, you know uh, just the first time that he's starting to throw in his uh, rehab right now? I've seen a lot of first time bullpens after Tommy John and watching Seve's has probably been the most uh, comfortable I've ever seen a player throwing his bullpen and probably the most aggressive I've seen in a player. I mean, he had, it looked like he had zero apprehension or zero worry about uh, whether his surgically repaired elbow was sound. And that, was, that, that for me was probably biggest thing I mean he's still probably looking at 20 30 more bullpens and a couple more uh and a, and a lot more live batting practices and then games so he's still a long way away but very encouraging first time and, and Mike you've seen Severino since he started basically in this organization mm -hmm. what is it that he's developed you know this is a very serious injury one that happens very frequently but it's still very serious what do you think allows him to do that to be that guy that is able to throw a bullpen that way right after uh, Tommy, Tommy John? Well, it's all because of hard work. I mean, he's, he's worked his tail off to, to get to this point. Um, and, you know, ha having been through a, a series of serious injuries and rehabbing for months and in, in a year, it, it's, it, it takes a toll on your mind and definitely takes a toll on your body, but it also gives you a chance that if, if, you, if you dig into it, um, you can do things now to your body that you weren't able to do when you were healthy because you have that extra time. And I think when he does come back, I think he's going to be uh, much stronger 